Mail time. Hmm. Cheers. Whew. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. And this is going to be like the birthday unboxing from my P.O. Box mail time. I don't really know what you want to call it. Two weeks ago, I gave you guys my P.O. Box, which has been out there for a while, but I don't think many people really knew about it. Let you know that my birthday was coming up two days ago. And now I'm going to open everything that came to the box. Some of the stuff I kind of know what it is because I know who sent it. Other things I have no idea at all what it could be, so I'm just going to jump right into it. There's a lot of stuff here. First one looks like an Amazon package. Talon, sent batteries too. Should be there tomorrow. Love your vids. Try the batteries in them. They're much brighter. Derek. So there's something that goes along with this, I guess. I'm going to guess it's this one. Oh yeah, batteries. This is actually awesome because my MicroStream died like two weekends ago and I haven't been carrying it since, so I've been going without a light, which is kind of unlike me. I normally carry a flashlight all the time. So I guess I just throw these in here and they'll charge. So Derek, thanks for the batteries, man. I'm definitely gonna give these a try. Next up, we got one from someplace really close to me, actually. This is like a 20 minute drive from where I live, so I'm kind of curious to what this is. And my logo's on the outside of it. Talon, happy birthday. Thought you could use this coaster for the next time you're drinking a cold Jaeger and not a sponsor. Keep up the good work creating solid content for the dopest vlog in the game from an OG sub, Aaron H. Hell yeah, Jaegermeister coaster. Thank you for the coaster, Aaron. I'm sure you already know how much I like Jaeger. This one's for you. Next up, we got one from Pasadena, Texas. Hey Talon, this is Brian at BAM Tactical. Here's my custom made by me Battle Worn Alien EDC Nuck. It has the capabilities of self protection, bottle opener, and a quarter inch hex bit. Yo, that's pretty sweet. If your followers would like one, they can follow me at BAM underscore tactical on Instagram. Hey! Hi. What's up? Wanna say hi? Hi. If your followers would like one, they can follow me at bam underscore tactical on Instagram. I'm working on more badass designs with punches, also working on custom flipper knives. So this is like one of those self-protection nucks and bottle opener. Punch someone and kill them with this. That'd be kind of cool, right? The anodizing is pretty cool too. And my logo. Hashtag dopest vlog in the what? game. Go check out his Instagram. Tell him I said thanks. What should I open next? She's picking the packages now. This one is from, where is this from? Ooh, I know who this is from actually. So this package is actually from Warrior 12 Apparel. So Warrior 12 was founded by veterans and law enforcement guys, so all the badass people. Completely unlike me, I have no military experience, law enforcement experience, nothing really. I just like guns. But they are an apparel company and they hooked me up with some shirts. I'm a little bit Irish, so that fits pretty damn well. Got their warrior shirt. Warrior 12 tumbler, I know what would go good in there. Oh, and I hope this is what I think it is. Hell yeah. Thin blue line American flag, that is awesome. I was gonna tell them that I wanted one of these because I talked to them before on Instagram, but I didn't even have to because they just sent me one, so. To everyone at Warrior 12, whoever hooked me up with this package, thank you guys. This is definitely going on my wall in my apartment as soon as I get back. Oh, next package. Teespring, I already know what this one is because I bought it, but I'm gonna open it during this anyway. QVO Wingman. So this shirt is obviously from QVO, Quick Violent Over, QVO Tactical. If you don't know who they are, I don't know where you've been because I talk about them a lot. If you don't know, I am on their sponsored shooter team. I don't know why, I feel like I don't deserve it, but I appreciate everyone out there, Roger and all the other guys. I glad to say that I'm a part of something. They are a custom Kydex holster manufacturer. They make the holster for my Glock 19, completely customized. You've seen this already, that's probably why you're on my channel. But this holster is the Wingman, Wingman shirt. I think it fits pretty well. QVO is also the people who put me in contact with Warrior 12, so Roger, again, thank you. Got some cool stuff from them. Oh, what's next? This one is from QVO as well. Oh man. All right, so this holster was just made for me. It is the QVO More Discreet, so it's an appendix waistband holster with the wing to kind of put the pressure on your belt. 
I did a whole video about holsters like this, so you can check it out right here if you click that little link. They got new colors, so this is their yellow Kydex with the green multicam. I'm not sure what that's called. Tropic multicam or something like that. New clip design, so I'm definitely gonna check this out. This is molded for a Glock 19, but not with the XC1 with the Inforce APLC. So this is a fairly new weapon mounted light by Inforce obviously. I'm gonna start running this instead of my XC1. I don't really use lights very often obviously. I'm not shooting in the dark. It's just something that I like to have on my gun. It kind of balances it out. This is super comparable to that because it's the same size. It doesn't stick out past the muzzle of the gun. So you can expect a full Sunday gun day video on this with this holster, probably with that Glock 19 sometime in the near future. So Roger, thanks for the hookup on all this stuff. Got more videos coming real soon. Thank you, this box is crushed. This one is from my newly acquired friends at Notch out in Arizona. Ooh. We ran out of inventory on the largest for the Second Amendment t-shirts. We'll send you one as soon as our next shipment comes in. Christian. Christian, no problem, man. Thank you. We got another, oh, what was that? Lots of stickers. You want some stickers? Two notch hats, actually. These are adjustable. Ooh, this one's cool. I actually like that one. So these come with the Velcro, just like the ones that I got last time, two weeks ago. I still need to give this away. I said I was going to do it on Instagram, so I got to make sure that I do that this week. Remind me to give stuff away. Noted. I still need some patches to put on there. Someone should send me patches to put on here because I don't have anything like that. They also sent me a t-shirt. I'm gonna have like 30 new t-shirts. What am I gonna do with all these? And wear them. I'm never gonna have to buy clothing again. I was just gonna say that. This one's actually sick though. I would wear this. I should put this on right now. But I just put this one on, so. I'll give away this hat because this is too small for me. If you guys want this, maybe I'll give this away too. I don't know, that's kind of, that's kind of cool though. Uh, okay, what's next? I look like a dad. I look like a dad? What does that mean? <laughs> wow, rude. I've been here for five minutes and you're already criticizing me. Everyone in the comment section right now is like, yeah, you look like a fucking dad. Hey, when's Dave coming? <laughs> Hooking Dave up with some goggles. Better see these at Tahoe next year. I'm intoxicated. <laughs> Love Jack. I shouldn't really open these if they're for Dave, should I? He's gonna he's gonna watch his video anyway. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Two hours later. Hooking Dave up with some goggles. Better see these at Tahoe next year. I'm intoxicated. Love Jack. <laughs> they could be like any brand, huh? They're too scared. They could be like <laughs> Open your goggles! <laughs> There's some goggles, yeah! <laughs> Dave got his goggles! Yeah. yeah! Did you already show them to them? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Put them that's, on! That's for Open them up! Night. What are you, why are you so upset? You look upset. You, were on, you wanted goggles for the past like 20 episodes and now you got them. Thank you, Jack. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. That's your shirt. Those look good. Yeah, like those. That is, there was like a black light. Those look lit. Dave got his goggles. By the way, if you don't get like the goggle joke, it's an inside joke. I did a mail time a couple months ago. When was it? It was like, I think it was my 10,000 subscriber party. Someone sent me these ski goggles, which I still have, obviously. They're still pretty dope. And I opened these and Dave was like super pissed because no one sent him goggles, so he's got some goggles now. Alright, it's time to get into the heavy duty packages. This package, here, let me let me bring it up here. Oh my god. <laughs> this package weighs like 75 pounds and it's completely destroyed because anything that weighs that much in the mail is obviously gonna get thrown around and beat up a little bit, but you probably already know what this is. Oh man, where do we start? Big pieces of steel. Also, ooh, I would have chopped my toe off. A lot, a lot of little steel pieces. So this is another package from my friends down over, over, it's Ohio, from my friends at Toxic Targets. A couple weeks ago I opened their prototype of the portable target rack, and now we got another one. 
So if you didn't see me open or shoot the other one, this is a portable target rack. These will all hang right next to each other. AR-500 steel. These can basically take anything that you want to shoot at them from a reasonable distance. So definitely going to be putting these to the test and I'm going to do a full video on them in the future. These are the top pieces for the portable target rack if you want to check them out. Obviously, ToxicTargets.com, hashtag PTR, portable target rack. Also in this package, not one, but two of their mini silhouettes. This is probably one of my favorite things to shoot, especially during Sunday gun days because I'm not the best shot in the world and these things are really easy to hit. When you hit them, you get the audible. What? Why is that funny? <laughs> she thinks it's funny that I'm not good at shooting guns. No. Also in the same package, not one large silhouette, but two of them. These things are definitely gonna get shot a lot, especially now that the private range is pretty much getting close to completion. I was kind of joking the other week when I said the whole range is gonna be filled with toxic target stuff, but after this hookup from the guys at Toxic Targets, I think this is all you're gonna be seeing me shoot for the next couple of weeks. Are you gonna come shooting with me? How many likes would it take you to come shoot with me? Ooh, I mean not that many because I want to do it. 1,500? 2,000. 2,000? Alright, we can do that. You can't <laughs> back out on that because if they get if it gets to 2,000 and you don't come shoot, everyone's going to be like, oh, she's a fucking liar. I don't lie. Toxic Targets, thank you guys a lot. If you aren't following them on Instagram already, check out their Instagram right here. I told you about them before, but seriously, go check them out. Tell them that I sent you. Awesome, awesome company. They got really reasonably... <laughs> they, <have, laughs> they have really reasonably priced steel targets, and you guys should totally pick some up. Tell them that I sent you. I think I need another one of these. You want one? I saved this one for last, actually second last, because I already know who this is from. Two weekends ago, I opened a package during a mail time and I said this. Talon, great channel, here's some swag from Panda Tactical. We are FFL SOT in Maryland. I would like to send you parts for a 300 blackout pistol build. Let me know what you think. Wayne, I like your thinking, man. So since then, I've been talking to Wayne, the guy who sent me that package in the first place. Long story short, we became pretty close. He's an awesome dude. I'm super stoked to be working with Panda Tactical. And let's just get into this box. Again, with the note and the super dope business card. Talon, here are all the parts you need to assemble the lower that was shipped to your FFL. The upper is done and will go out later this week. Call me if you have any questions. Wayne. More shirts. Do you need a shirt? Yeah. Here, you can put that on. Or you can put one on with a panda on it, which is even cooler. I wore this shirt like six times last week from the last one that Look you sent me. Look how big it is. Oh, what was that? We got panda tactical hat. How's that look? Do I look like a dad? I look like a dad? <laughs> I can't wear a bent brim hat without looking like a dad. Back to the box. We got two buffer tube springs. A buffer tube, a Magpul grip. Is this the K2 grip? It is the K2 grip. This is the same grip that is on my Radical Firearms AR pistol. Most of these parts, mag release, bolt catch, everything I believe is from an Anderson lower. And then the trigger is an ACT model from ALG. To top it all off, we got the SIG brace. And that super awesome package leads us into the final and kind of obvious package that came. This morning I went up to my local FFL who I didn't really know that well before. They just knew that I was a guy in the area who bought a lot of guns from them. Previously I had went up there and bought a Glock 43 which a lot of you guys have probably saw. I said that I was going to that place over Cabela's because I like to support mom and pop style gun shops like that. Long story short, when I was talking with Panda Tactical they ended up shipping what I have behind this shirt to Schuylkill Gunworks. So a lot of people were asking me who are from the area, they're like, hey, I'm from Berks County, I'm from Eastern Pennsylvania. Where do you go to buy your guns? Schuylkill Gunworks. You guys were wondering, now you know. I'm not afraid to tell you because I made friends with the guys up there. Super awesome group of people and you should definitely go check them out. They have a Facebook page, you can call them up, see what they have in stock. If you're local, just go check them out. Tell them that I sent you and yeah, it's just an awesome group of people up there. So what came in was 
an Anderson lower. What's good about this is that it is registered as a pistol. So SIG Brace, all the parts are going into this lower. And like I said in that video, I'm doing a complete 300 blackout pistol build. Wayne and Elliot, all the guys at Panda Tactical have really hooked it up with this build. If you don't know who Panda Tactical is, they're an FFL and SOT in Southern Maryland. So if you're in the area, definitely look them up. You can find them at pandatactical.com. They also do HQL and CCW training. So if that's something that you're interested in, you should definitely check them out. That's something that I want to do in the future. And I will actually be heading down there in the next couple of weeks. Are you coming with me for that? So if this video gets 2000 likes, you can just come with me down there. It's gonna be really cool though. Check out Panda Tactical. These guys have been nothing but awesome to me. So if you could go show them your support coming from me, let them know I sent you. I would really, really appreciate that pretty much more than anything else. So this thing is gonna be coming together hopefully in the next couple of weeks. A lot of Sunday gun days planned. My room is destroyed right now. Got a lot of targets to put together. Got a lot of t-shirts and hats to wear. <laughs> I have like 20 hats now. I gotta, I gotta give some away. Follow me on Instagram at Talon Psy, something like that. Twitter, Facebook, it's all the same shit. One more for good measure. <laughs> all right, I guess that's it for today. Thanks to everyone who sent me packages, whether it was for my birthday, you're a subscriber, you're a company who likes what I do. So I can't say thank you enough to everyone who has sent some stuff in. It's because of you that I can make future videos like this. The holster and light review, the 300 build, the 300 Sunday gun day. Coming out to shoot with some of you guys, I'm super excited for it. And I'm sure some people who are watching are excited for it too. Is there anything that you'd like to say? Who am I? I'm just here for the stuff. And things. Oh, the things too? <laughs> And the thing. You're here for the stuff and things. I'm here for the stuff and things. All right, I think that's why most people are here. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching this episode of Stuff and Things. If you enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up. If we get to 2,000, we're going to go shooting, right? Yep. Uh, all right. I will leave links to everything down in the description below. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one.